Hey everybody, welcome back to Sherry's Crochet Corner. I've been wanting to get a video up for the last um, couple of weeks actually, but I've had some life happen. Um, just when I think I'm getting ahead, something else seems to come along, but isn't that the way with all of us? Um, my grandmother, who was 103 years old, passed away and that was two Thursdays ago, so almost two weeks. And we had her funeral last Wednesday and Thursday. We, re we had her funeral in the funeral home Thursday night and did the graveside Thursday. Um, my aunt lives in California, so we had to wait. She couldn't get any flights out, the weather and all the other things going on. So we had to postpone the funeral for just a little bit. So that being said, um, I'm going to purchase my grandmother's house. My girls are gonna go down there and they're gonna rent the house. So we've been working on getting some stuff out of the house at the end of the week, first of this week, and just trying to get settled into a normal routine again. So I have, I have some things to show you. The last video, we think we talked about the Scrappy Crochet Exchange and ask you all to go and look at it and see if you wanted to join in. They just announced yesterday what they wanted to do for round five. And they're gonna do, instead of squares, they're gonna do a blanket exchange. So blanket 50-ish by 60-ish, anything goes. Um, so just a blanket and then they want to, they want you to send them a picture of it. They're going to get all the people that finish it by June the 23rd. That's the deadline. And they're going to put it all together and shuffle it and mix it up and then get back with you on, tell you who your person is and where you need to send your blanket. And then you're going to send them the shipping so that they know that you've shipped it and they can track it and make sure everybody got their blankets, which I think is an awesome idea. So you make a blanket, you exchange a blanket, you get a new blanket, who knows from where in the world it's gonna come. So that's amazing. I did start on my blanket, um, trying to bust out my stash. So I used a red heart and I'm doing a rectangle square. And that's the first skein. And I'm gonna take this solid teal color and, and work on it next. So I'll keep you updated on my blanket as I go. And then, um, I wanted to, like I told you, I had gotten some cotton mail-in yarn from, I think, Hirschner's. Um, I watched Crystal at Bag of Day and she talked about it and cotton is my favorite fiber. Love it. Love those cakes. Um, love to make shawls. Did you all remember when AC Moore had the Stitch Studio on the Vina Cole and you could get the cakes for like five dollars? Um, you couldn't order them online, so you had to go to a store. The closest store to me was like two hours away, so it was well worth the drive for me. But I, I did go, and I had some of those cakes left. And remember in my last video, I talked about doing a collaboration with another fellow YouTuber, Kelly, at My Wonderful Crafty Life. And I'll try to link her below, too. But I got one of those Stitch Studio by Nicole cotton cakes. And I worked on a shawl. And this pattern is a bag a day shawl pattern. And it's called Pure Innocence. I'm gonna hold it up. So excuse me for covering my face. But you can see the effect that that cake had. And you can see that wonderful stitch definition in that shawl. Just absolutely gorgeous. So let me see if I can hold it up, try it on. Um, maybe get so you can see the end here, but isn't that, isn't that absolutely lovely? I think, I think it is. Anyway, I'm going to do that, get that out of my way. And before I get into this bag of yarn, one last thing, I will, I'm a very big college football fan. Never been to a college football game, though. I don't know if any of you all like college football 
or if you all ever thought about going to a game. But I made my daughter, one of the first things I made when I was learning to crochet was um, granny squares and I made it in a checkerboard fashion that the U University of Tennessee has in their end zones on their home games. And so we had that blanket with us when we went to a game back in the fall. And one of the people that were in the cons sitting you, showing you where your seats were, one of the, the workers there in the stadium saw the blanket and asked me about it and asked me if I'd make a blanket for him. And I told him it would probably be the first of the year before I could get it done. So just a, just a sample. I'm working on the border. I've got one or more row on the border left and I'll be ready to get that blanket mailed. Tell me what you think about that Tennessee checkerboard blanket. Anyway, that's a commission pro project that I'm going to finish up by tomorrow and get out. So, let's get to the yarn of goodness, right? Um, Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches calls this yarn porn, and I don't know about you, um, but it's so hard for me not to go out and buy yarn. I need to use up my stash, but I just... More than crochet, I think I love to look at and 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 touch and feel and buy yarn. Um, and like I said, cotton is my favorite. So we're gonna. I got I think four. They came in a two pack, and they were like I don't even remember how much they were. I may have a pack and slip in here. So I'm gonna get these out of this bag because I'm dying to get my hands on them and work on them. Here we go. Invoice. Let me remember. Oh doesn't tell me what they were. I paid about $14 shipping and handled on a couple dollars of tax, but I did get four packs, 40, $47, $48. So you can figure that out, pretty good deal. So these are self-stopping cotton cake millions. Okay, they don't have labels on them. But love to watch Crystal, love to watch things she unbags. A lot of that stuff, um, I don't know that I'd ever be able to purchase, but something like this that's so beautiful, that's that accessible here to me in the United States is awesome. Now, my high school, my high school football, my high school mascot is a blue devil. Excuse me for the rattling, I know. This is not quite the same blue. And I hope my camera's doing this justice. I know my lighting is not the best. But these are all different colors of blue from that dark into teal into the periwinkle and, and light. Isn't that gorgeous? And I did have a cake like this from Stitch Studio by Nicole that I made a shawl out of years ago and gave them to my sister. So it's just, but this is so soft and so squishy and just so yummy delicious it was so hard when i saw crystal's video to say um yeah i'm not gonna buy any of that yeah so this is the purple and this one is some lilac into some pink into some light blue into some white now to me guys these cakes are just to die for Deep dark purple, deep dark blues into teals, into a light blue. That looks like this is the same cake. See, but this one is not. This one is a, let me see, purple. Let me grab that out of that bag too, because it's so hard to see in the bag. And I'm sorry for making the noise. That looks more brown on the video than it really is. It's a purple, but it does have some beigey color here going into that white. And then this one is the same. And this last one is a mix of beige, blue and beige into the beige, into the white, into the dark blue with some beige into so, solid dark blue. But just so absolutely stunning. These cakes are just absolutely stunning. And I can't wait to get into them and work on some more shawls. This shawl is going to go to Kentucky 
to, to sit in Kelly's shop and hopefully be sold. But um, I was thinking since I had two of this color to maybe make myself a poncho or if I did, you know, or the poncho to sell. And then there's just, I don't know about you, but crochet and the things that you can make, it, it's endless. And then you see something all the time that you think, wow, I want to try that. Or wow, I wish I could do that. Or it's just, just amazing. Oh, and this is my lamb I bought yesterday. I don't know if you all have, I live in a rural area, so there's not a lot around me that's big or that has a lot in it, but the Dollar Trees that's around here are going to those Dollar Tree Pluses and this um, plush animal they had in, in my Dollar Tree. And so I got it for my granddaughter and it's sitting here on my bed when she's over. But um, like I said, I got my grandmother's house and my daughters that were living with me and my granddaughter are moving into that house and they're so excited. So they're staying there. So I have a couple of evenings that I've had to myself. So yay, I'm so excited about that. I hate that I lost my grandmother, but um, just to being able to invest in her house and knowing her house is staying in the family and, and that my daughters have an opportunity to get out on their own and adult is, is priceless guys i hope you've enjoyed my makes i hope you've enjoyed my haul i'm sorry that it's been a couple of weeks but i'm glad i'm getting back to you guys and i think um if you stick with me to this to this point in my video i think that i've already had a ball like this i think that i'm going to give this away and so what i'd like for you to do is to like and comment on my video and then I'd like you to tell me what you would make if you were to win this ball of yarn and I think I'm gonna have this open from now which is the 25th of January to February the 2nd and I'm gonna close it Eastern Standard Time at midnight and you have to be 18. You have to be a resident of the United States. Um, I would like for you to be a subscriber, but that's not um, a requirement. Uh, please read the rest of the rules that will be in the description box below. And you know how YouTube is big on making sure you know the rules and the regulations. This is sponsored entirely by me. Um, I bought the yarn. It was not gifted to me. Um, it is not sponsored by anybody except Sherry's Crochet Corner, me, Sherry. So I just wanted to tell you all how much you mean to me, and I wanted to share some of this yummy goodness. So please leave your comment. Let me know what you'd make, and thank you for sticking with me. I hope you all have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.